That's something that we look forward to. Um, he brings out the best in players, especially young players, and so a uh, chance to work with him over the summer and really be in his program without any distractions is going to be really positive for us. How did the crowd size today when you walked out and realized what it was going to be like? How did that hit you? That, that was amazing, and I was saying out there, nowhere else in America do they do that. The, the stadium was literally full. I mean, they really couldn't find empty seats, and so someone to come out here in April and want to do that and have a great time um, watching us just you know run around for a scrimmage where we're not really doing a whole bunch is awesome. Um, says a lot about the fans we have. Gosh, Nick Connor had a nice game. Yeah, he did. Uh, he is interesting. I call him Water Boy because <laughs> he runs around there. Uh, he gets in his stance and doesn't really bend his knees, so he looks kind of stiff. He's got that <laughs> ugly collar on his pads and the whole deal and runs around like a maniac. But he finds a way to get to the ball. Um, I mean, that's what you, you want in a linebacker. His fundamentals aren't quite there and doesn't know what he's doing all the time, but he finishes on the ball, and so you can work with that. And you should be a senior in high school right now. Yeah. Is this spring surprising you at all? Um, yes and no. Uh, I feel like he didn't get a ton of credit because he was one of those guys who, although he performed well at some of the camps and stuff, he really wanted to come to Ohio State. And so um, he didn't get a whole bunch of attention from the recruiting media, this, that, and the other. Um, I also have a little bias about Central Ohio guys not getting the pub they deserve, but that's another story. Um, Nick's a, a really, he's going to be a great player here, and I think that he cares a lot. He puts the time in, and that's really mature out of young guys. And we've been fortunate enough because Ray Kwan was really mature when he came in, too, to have that for the past couple of years.